Hello and welcome to this introductory video regarding this year's Year 9 Pathways process. In previous years, you'd have known this as the Options process, and in short, it's that period of time when pupils coming towards the end of Year 9 are able to choose and select the subjects they want to study throughout Key Stage 4. Here at Dean Trust Rollsbridge, we offer a really broad and balanced Key Stage 4 curriculum with all pupils studying English language, English literature, maths, combined science, Spanish, history or geography, and then they have two options. From these options, they could choose two of the following subjects, such as 3D design technology, child development, citizenship, digital IT, drama, fine art, health and social care, the other history or geography, hospitality and catering, music, photography, religious studies, and sports studies. We encourage the majority of our pupils to follow the English Baccalaureate pathway, also called the EBAC. This means taking English, Math, Science, one of the humanities subjects, so either history or geography, and Spanish as a minimum component of their subjects. The other two choices must then be GCSE, BTEC, or vocational and technical qualifications in the list that I've just shown to you. There are so many benefits for pupils to follow the EBAC pathway, and you can see those in the table here, such as support in attending more prestigious further education institutions, also providing a wide range of transferable skills for pupils, offering unrivaled education, and as well as that, tailoring to a, a variation of pupil interests. For pupils who study the EBAC pathway, they are very well set up to succeed in the future, and they're able to rival pupils of the same age from other schools and colleges all over the country to go on and achieve great things. We're really proud here at Dean Trust Rollsbridge to offer and put so much weighting on the EBAC and it is a pathway that we will strongly encourage all of our pupils to follow where appropriate. This period of time then is one where a lot of support is needed and that starts right here with you watching this video. On Wednesday the 9th of February all pupils will have an assembly and this video will go home to you as parents and carers. On Thursday the 10th you will then have the opportunity to speak with all of your child's parent, uh, all of your child's teachers at the Year 9 Parents and Progress Evening. On Friday, we then have an options fair open to all pupils, which will take the place of their Period 5 lesson. This will be happening here at school in the Performing Arts Theatre and will give all pupils an opportunity to speak to pupils in, in Year 10 and Year 11, as well as teachers about potential courses they may wish to study. Once we come back from half term, pupils will then be able to attend taster sessions in all of their option subjects. And an options booklet with information will be shared with parents and also pupils. It won't be until Monday the 14th of March though, when pupils start to begin choosing the subjects they would like to study. This will happen here at school during form time using a Google form. Following this, in the week after, letters will be sent home detailing parents of the subjects pupils have chosen for Key Stage 4. This does not mean these are the exact same subjects that will definitely be studied, but these are just an indication of preferences. Following Easter, we'll then be able to determine which subjects will specifically be studied. The reason that we can't confirm this with absolute clarity is that occasionally some subjects wouldn't run if we don't have enough pupils who've selected to take them. On our website, you'll also find a range of videos in each curriculum area with details of the subject that can be studied at Key Stage 4. And if you have any questions, you should see myself, Mr. Jones, Year 9 Head of Year, or Mrs. Worswick. Making sure we make the right decisions now can really cement and secure fantastic achievement in the future. And there are lots of factors to consider with the choices that are made. You should think about your future and a possible job that you would like to take on. You should also think about the skills that you want to cultivate when moving forward. 
and as well as that, you should consider the subjects you enjoy. While some subjects at Key Stage 4 are new, actually there are a variety which are a continuation of things that you've already studied at Key Stage 3, and you should consider which aspects of study you've already enjoyed. Avoid making decisions based on the following. Number one, suggested gender stereotypes. No matter what subjects are there in the options booklet and there on the Google form, they are open for everybody. Please do not think that a particular subject is not available to you because of your gender. Don't choose options based on what your friends are doing. This is a process designed to achieve the very best outcomes for you. That does not mean being there with your friends necessarily. You still get to be with your friends at social times, but you're here at school to learn and to thrive. Number three, the possible teachers that might deliver a particular subject. These could change. And please don't be concerned by other relationships that you have with teachers and how we will get the very best out of you. And number four, don't make a decision based on the fact that you feel one subject is easier than the other. You should make decisions based on your interests, but please don't think that any one subject is particularly different in terms of how hard it is than another. If you or your children have any questions, please direct them to myself, Mr. Jones or Miss Worswick, and we'll be grateful to assist. If you'd like to contact the school to speak about it further, please contact our school office. And also, please make sure you've read all the information that comes home as well. We look forward to welcoming you to the parents' evening tomorrow afternoon, and we can't wait to ensure we make the very best decisions with you and your child for their future. Thank you very much.